Okay, when you're also inside of one of the brushes, I'm just going to go back to the standard brush. You can also do what's called masking. So if you look and I start to sculpt on this model, you can see I'm using pressure sensitivity with a tablet. You're going to see that I, I have no control. I can only sculpt in the areas I can sculpt into this whole model. But if I want to protect an area, I can use on my keyboard, I can press and hold the Alt key. Now what will happen up here in this corner is it will now turn to a masked brush. You can see here, we can change these settings as well. So let's now hold that control key and start to draw in here. I'm just going to draw a kind of circle. And you're going to see a kind of gray appear on the model. This is showing that this is protected by a mask. Okay. So if I hold that control key and I want to soften this mask, I can just hold the control key and tap in there once. And you can see I'm softening that mask. Now, if I was to hold the alt key as well as the control key, I could sharpen the mask. So soften the mask, hold, draw the mask on. Let's just unmask. I'm holding the control key and I'm dragging off of the model. I'm now going to hold the control key and mask like this. Okay. And now I'm going to soften this mask by just clicking inside here. I can soften that mask, you see, and this will be less of a transition between here and the masked area. To harden the mask, I hold the control key and I hold the alt key and I click inside that mask and I click and I make that mask really sharp. So what I can do now, because this is protected, I'm back on my standard brush, is you'll see if I start to draw, it's not going to affect anything in that masked area because it's masked. So I can do things like this and it's masked. And now if I clear the mask, you're going to see that I have protected that area. So let's do this with a softened mask now. So I'm going to hold the control key, I'm going to click in here, and then I'm going to hold the control key and click and soften this mask down. So let's now draw with the standard brush now. And what you can see is you've got a slight gradient coming on where it's feathered. So this is really good. Let me show you with another tool now. We're going to use masking this time with a move brush and this will be really clear. I'm going to go to move. I'm going to make this brush a bit bigger. I'm going to go into the control key and I'm going to click in here and I'm going to harden this mask. Control Alt, click inside there. Now I'm going to inverse this selection by holding the control key and clicking once here. Now I'm going to use the move brush and I'm going to move this out. And you're going to see it's a very hard transition between there because the mask is not hard. So I'm going to clear the mask, control drag. Okay. And we're going to do a softer mask now. So I'm going to come in here, hold that control key and just click in there and create a softer mask. It's a very soft mask and then inside I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to put a little bit more masking inside there. Now I'm going to click outside to inverse, go back to our move tool and you're going to notice when I pull this up there's a much softer transition because the mask is actually just softened there. Okay, It's given more of a feather. So you can use masks to protect areas and you can also, by holding the control key, and you can also set how feathered it is. So the transition between the masked and the non-masked areas. Now also, when you've got the control key held down, you can also change things like intensity or focal shift. You can notice that the yellow is now changing. So I'm hardening this up. So now if I draw on this, it's very sharp. Now if I bring the brush size down, if I press the control and bring the focal shift right up, it's going to be very soft, a very soft transition between the two. So you've still got control while holding the control key of focal shift, draw size and the intensity. And the control key gives you options to the mask brushes in here and other things that you can do with masking as well. So remember also, you can mask and to invert a mask, you can press the control key and you can click once. If you click again, it'll invert again. To soften, you click, hold the control key, click inside here. To harden, you press the control key, press Alt and click in here. Okay. And to get rid of the mask, you can press the control key and drag outside of the model. And that is masking with brushes inside of ZBrush.